If we take a group of depressed people and a group of people who have never been depressed and put them in an MRI machine, we will find differences in their brains, not just brain function, but even the structure of their brains. But what does this mean? Do brain changes mean that depressed people have something wrong with their brains? That they have a brain disease? A biological psychiatrist would likely conclude that brain changes are causing a person to be depressed. Therefore, the depressed person has a biological brain disease. A psychotherapist may say that of course there are brain changes in people who are depressed. It's self-evident because they're depressed. Being depressed changes the brain. So the observed brain changes are not the cause, but the inevitable result of depression. So what we have here is a chicken or egg, a nature versus nurture argument. Are brain changes the cause or the result of depression? Let's examine the evidence. To definitively prove that brain changes cause depression, we would need to perform MRI scans on people's brains again and again over many years, starting even before they became depressed. That way, we could determine whether people's brains were different before they became depressed, and so these brain differences could cause the depression, or if they only had brain changes after they became depressed. The thing is, that study does not exist, and it probably will never exist because it'd be too time-consuming and costly. So we have to use other evidence to reason it out. Of course, we know people's brains are different from birth. People have different intelligence. People have different verbal ability, different creative ability, even different temperaments. Therefore, it is reasonable to conclude that some people's brains might be predisposed to depression. There are also genetic studies using sophisticated research methods that investigate how genetic or heritable psychiatric disorders are. The most heritable psychiatric disorders are panic disorder and bipolar disorder. However, even these show only 30 to 40 percent heritability. Depression is far less. So one can reasonably conclude that people who are depressed may have slightly different brains from birth and some genetic component that predisposes them to depression, but that these risks are relatively minor. What is the evidence that brain changes are the result of being depressed? Again, there's very little direct evidence, but many studies show that learning and behavior change the brain. In fact, the brain is always changing. One example is a study that showed people who played a lot of Pokemon as a child have differences in their brains from people who did not play Pokemon as a child. Another example is that the brain changes after psychotherapy for depression. So people who get treated for depression can actually change their brains. Therefore, it is reasonable to conclude that depression can also change the brain. So what's the bottom line? Is depression a brain disease? I don't think anyone believes that depression is a disease you can catch, like the flu. The messaging around depression as a brain disease can also be quite scary. Brain diseases with clear pathology like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease are serious and terminal illnesses. Depression, while it can be severe and disabling and can result in death by suicide, is not the same as Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. In the end, while some people may be born with brains that predispose them to depression, 
most cases are the consequence of patterns of behavior, of thinking, of defense mechanisms that develop, often unconsciously and outside of your awareness, over the course of a lifetime of experience and learning. Does that make depression any less serious or real? No. Depression is very real, so real that it changes the brain. But in fact, it's good news because the brain can be changed and depression can be cured through new experiences and new learning like that found in psychotherapy. What do you think? Is depression a biological brain disease? Let me know in the comments. Also, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.